Okay, it looks like that's all there is to see to it. Or is there possibly more? For now, for now, I'll terminate the video, and if I find more, I can always just start filming more. Well, let me check. Yes, it looks reasonably sharp. Alright, so as you can tell from the billboard, or even if you've been here before, that was just Dr. F. G. Jonathan Bleach Institute. Okay, I'm not sure if it's Butcher's name there, but anyway. So, as you can see around here, it's all fenced off now and whatnot, and as you can tell from just looking at it, from going, when I was going around the surroundings and the vicinity and whatnot, it's obviously closed, no one goes there, and I'm not sure how long it's been like that, but it looks like it's been like that for quite some time, judging from all the creepy things I've seen, like the trash lying around the place, and some smashed glass, and I even see some doors open with pylons stuck in them. Now, what makes that extra creepy and dangerous is the fact that people can be lurking in there or lying around or doing who knows what. So that's probably why there's a lot of fencing. But that said, if they really want to keep people out, they should also probably consider locking all these things because I don't know if that door is open or not. I'm not going to even bother attempting to try to open it because I don't want to look like a trespasser. In fact, that's kind of the reason why I was quiet for the most part during the video because I'm not even 100% certain if I'm honestly supposed to be around here. Like, I mean, obviously there's some open fields here so anybody could technically wander there but I'm not exactly sure if you're supposed to be there, if that makes sense. Like, okay, the fields there is open but I don't know if you're supposed to be wandering around this particular school and if you're caught, I don't know if there's gonna be consequences. Like, I didn't see any warning signs like keep out or whatnot but the fencing does kind of make me believe that you probably shouldn't be lingering around. So, see, look at that, smashed glass. Like, I don't know if they're like criminals in there or whatnot, so I have to be careful and keep it low-key. Now, I didn't film this part because there was a fence blocking me, as you can see from the, as you saw from the last segment, so that was impossible. So I'm just gonna have to be careful and just keep a, my ears open and my eyes peeled. I don't know if that security camera out there even works because the school is just closed and it looks like a desk of the wasteland kind of. It's leaf litter all over the place and there's some garbage when I was doing photography. So there's a security camera there. And a whole lot of graffiti. I'm gonna come around to the part with the smash glass very soon. Hear my voice echoing here, but I'm not gonna shout or be too loud because, like I say, I have a very creepy feeling about this school. Some rubble in there. Actually, I'm looking closer. Yeah, I think they're demolishing it. That's probably what. Though they might want to do a better job at actually sealing it off, because whether they're demolishing it or maybe they're refurbishing it. See, there we go. Like, what is that? broken glass. I could probably stick my phone in there. Actually, is there anyone in there? Like, look how creepy that is. Just creepy. And very interesting in a way, too. Lots of rubbish over there. So, I don't know. I guess I've filmed everything that I want to film around here now, so I can probably call it quits soon after I just come back out further up there where that field is. You can hear something in the sky up there. I don't know if you can see the straight line cloud is forming. Where's it coming from this way? Oh no, okay, there's an aircraft over there and then there's like another thing over there. 
What a creepy building. Though I think most people are probably responsible enough not to lurk in there. And I'm pretty sure the cops would probably come around a lot during the night time, so... I don't think that's an issue, but I mean, it's a possibility because people will do some very creepy things. Like, especially that broken glass, that was crazy. Like, I really could have stuck my phone in there, but I didn't want to, again, look too suspicious because I don't know if there's anybody watching me closely without me even knowing it, so... I just have to be very careful and try to keep it low-key. So, I guess that's it. And now I can call it quits with this creepy, closed, broken, smashed up, garbage all over the place high school. Was this video worth the risk? Did you find it very creepy? Did you like this video? Comment, rate, like, subscribe, share, read my blog for more information, and visit my Twitter page for my latest tweets. And do not forget to also participate in the polls in the top right corner in the eye circle.